I'm going to remove our our safety hoop here. It's kind of in the way for getting at the ladder for what I want to do right now. I'm going to have to be super careful I don't break these off. It is it is so easy to accidentally when you're reaching across catch your arm on it. I have to be constantly aware. Anyway, about our ladder right here. I know I'm quite a ways back and you can't see it too good. But uh, I'm thinking that if I can maybe somehow get the the holder downer on it to help hold it in place. Now this, this splinter rail is kind of in the way here. Um, unless I was to come in like this and kind of go through uh, I'll move in just a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here. Now the reason I want to kind of hold this ladder down in place is because I just know that when I go to touch it with the uh, to apply the CA glue right right up here, it's probably going to want to maybe stick to the to the applicator. Let's just let's just try it and see how much it's wedged in there. Now, now here's something that I learned when I was doing the Bismarck and somebody also uh, had the suggestion have your railings spread out so that there's friction uh, between the, the rail and the opening and that way it sort of holds it in place. Now, it, it's not very tight and yet on the other hand if I if I start messing around in here with my holder downer, am I going to just pull the whole thing crooked on? I think I more or less got it there. Now, somebody made a comment in yesterday's video that the treads were not bent enough, and I was noticing that too. Um, but at a distance, you don't really see it. But what I am noticing is that the bottom of the uh, uh, of the uh, ladder has to come towards us just a little bit. In other words, it's right now it's leaning too much to the right. But you only notice it if you look at it straight from the back. I'm just going to try and see if I can't pull it back just a little bit. Now I'm going to sort of eyeball it from the back and see how it looks here. I think that's a little better. Okay, now we'll get some of our uh, homemade CA medium here and see what we can do. Okay, let's try not to bump the holder downer. I think that's probably good right there. So I can come in from this side now and get this other um, stringer. Okay, once again you can see it a whole lot better than I can. Okay, now the trick is going to be to try and lift the holder donger out of there without it catching on something and pulling everything crooked. Now, okay, I've got it off, but I've got to try and pull it back. Now, I know it looks like it should be, you know, like you could grab hold of it with both hands and one foot, but you got to remember that this holder donger, what you're looking at right there, is the uh, modified head of a pin to sort of hook onto stuff. I mean, we're talking really small here. Anyway, I got it. Now, I am not going to put any glue right here. I was thinking about it, you know, to give it a little bit of strength. But um, I think it, it's probably fairly fairly in place there. Like, I know if I push on it, it, it will move out of the way. But um, I think if, I'm, if we're careful here, we won't break that out of there. Now, once again, for perspective here. Uh, 
Okay, we have four more ladders that we have to put on. Uh, one of them will be a mirror image to the one we just put on here. It'll go on the other side. But there's three that go on here that we are actually not going to be able to see where they touch the deck on the bottom. So we're only going to be seeing the top of them. It, it appears that... Um, okay, two of them go in one way, and it looks like the one closest to us here uh, goes the other way. Um, okay, let's let's find the three that are, you might say, the worst, and we'll keep the best one for the for the other side here, because it'll uh, it'll be seen again uh, from from the back. So I'm I'm just going to just quickly look at these now and try and figure out which one is the best and uh, we'll, we'll keep it for the other side and we won't be putting it on until the ship gets turned around. Now I could be wrong here but I think this one here is possibly the best so we'll save it for the other side. Now as for these three uh, this one is a little bit crooked it has to be straightened out anyway um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread the railings apart a little bit so that they'll wedge themselves into the opening on the uh, down on the deck. Yeah, I wonder how I got that one so badly bent out of shape there. It's well, it's not really bad, but I, I think it, I think I did that when it was on the uh, turntable. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Well, we can easily fix that. I've spread the railings apart a little bit here and the, as I mentioned the idea is to give a little bit of friction here and uh, I don't want them to fall right through because they, they'd be hard to get out of there. Maybe I'm going to have to Why is this not going now? Maybe I've got the, the railings spread apart too much and there's too much friction. See if I can get something else to poke. I see, see I, I don't want to use this because it'll scratch the... Uh, mind you, if I push it way down inside there, no one's going to see that anyway. I think it is a too steep of an angle. Gotta try and try and pull it out here. Okay, you probably can't see it that far back, but there's a bit of a hook on the end of the on the end of the pin there, and if I can mind you what could happen is I'll get it in and I can't get it out. Maybe I'll just pull it back up here. Sort of start again. You know what? I'm going to have to reposition myself. Maybe if I put the camera over here on the other side, uh, I can get in better. Now this is somewhat better for me. In fact, it's considerably better for me. I am basically now where the camera was. something I hate to use this but I 
I'm wondering if maybe the reason this is not going down is because it's resting on the deck below. down here if I could just very gently hook onto the pull it back I thought this was going to be really easy Almost got it. Now if I can just push it ahead, in other words, towards you. It should maybe come up just a little bit here. perspective it looks pretty good it's not going to fall in now okay let's see if we can have better luck with this one here You know what, I don't think I need any more on there. I, I saw it wicking its way across the, uh, you, you can't see it because of your angle, but I could see it sort of wicking its way across the, the, uh, the tread over to the other side here. So I don't think I need to put any more on. That's not going to fall in. Okay, now, now this one here goes in the other way. careful when I release the tweezer that it's not catching on anything now Just, I just got to move the base of it out just a little bit. There, I think that's pretty much it. This one here, it, it, I didn't widen it out enough at the top here. It, it looks, it looks pretty good there. That was kind of a 
sloppy job, wasn't it? I wonder if I could sort of smear it along a little bit. Well, once, once that cures, it's not going to fall in. Now this other side is just sort of a mirror image of the first one we did. And uh, I wonder if I could maybe do it better with my fingers. No, not really. I should maybe have my steady rest rigged up here. I was planning on turning the ship around so that it would be facing me, but this seems to be kind of going. And all being well, you should be able to see really well because I'm not blocking the camera. No. I think part of the problem is there's a there's a lot of rough places. Wait till I get my uh, little protective rubber thing on there. Push that down. There's a, there's a lot of rough places on the opening in the plastic deck that are catching. Okay, now you can probably see the base of the ladder a lot better than I can, but from my perspective over here on this side, it it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Well, let's uh, reposition here and put a little bit of CA on there. Oh, I moved it. Oh, shoot. I should have used the holder downer. Well, I think I can probably get it back before the before the CA sets. No, that's not good. different angle here. Yeah, this has to go out just a little bit. Sorry to be getting my hands in your way here. Okay, there. That's, that's good. I'll try it again. This time I'm just going to put it just on the tread and let it wick its way along. Try not to push on it. That's gonna stay on there pretty good. Just come at it from this side. I, I am planning to take the, the little brush, <coughs> excuse me, and the uh, 77, and and just uh, go around where where the uh, CA is glinting through there. 
ladders are in place now. And the bridges and searchlights and the uh, uh, and the uh, gun is in place here on this side. But to do the same thing on the other side, which shouldn't take very long, uh, I think the best thing to do is turn our ship around. Now every time I do this I think to myself, is this going to be the time that I drop it? Now I realize that I just put this on. Okay, we're going to be wanting to work, where is it now? right here. Okay, one of these bridges goes right there and plugs into that little slot right there. And, and that wire would have been in our way. Uh, when, when I'm working I like to sort of work in with my right hand like this and the camera comes in the way it is now. It's, it's not very often you're going to see a shot where the camera is coming in from my right. Unless it's coming in from, from behind. Um, yeah, it's, it, this is just more comfortable comfortable for me. You know, I'm working more or less with my right hand, and the light and the camera are, well, where they are right now. Okay, let's do a dry run here. If you remember when we did this same piece on the other side, I was concerned that it wasn't going to fit. Now that little peg should go up in the hole. Whoops. Maybe if I put the peg in first. Yeah, it seems to be this way we did the other side. We got the peg in first. And then we pushed the tab down. Yeah, that, that's going to go. Okay. Let's get our... Uh, extra thin going here now. Maybe trying to do this on camera is not a good idea. Okay, now what you did not see me do was I put a little bit of extra thin on that on that tab. I don't think I needed to, but I don't know why I did that. I'll just use my finger here because I can feel the pressure a lot better. Or you can, I don't know if you can see it, but on the bottom of the uh, pedestal part, right on the deck, it's, uh, it's starting to wick its way out there so I know it's going to be a real good strong joint. Now you can see the same searchlight on the other side and uh, it's sort of facing towards the bow. The, the bow is to, is to our left now. Now this one here because I, I would prefer that the uh, little yellow uh, control wheels will be seen. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of having an angle almost in the opposite direction, otherwise it's kind of, you know, out of sight. I think it'll actually look better that way. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it, but I probably put a little bit too much extra thin on there. It's, it's wicked its way out onto the deck. However, once that dries, uh, we won't see that, especially from arm's length. Okay, now once again we're going to do a dry run. Now 
How's that look? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, let's get our extra thin in place. Now I'm not pressing down real hard, but I'm pressing down hard enough that the that the extra thin when it melts the melts the plastic or dissolves the plastic it's gonna sort of run its way down into into the uh, cracks or it it doesn't really wick like the extra thin does when when it's just extra thin, but it kinda does. There was a little bit of double-sided tape on the bottom of this one, too. I got most of it off. I'm hoping the extra thin will sort of dissolve it. Okay. I could be wrong, but I do believe we've got everything done now on step 41. Let's just check it out. I am right. Step 41 is done. Nothing more to do. So let's turn the page to step 42. Okay, uh, 42. I've well, got a whole bunch of pieces here, don't we? Now, uh, where is it? You know, these, these ones here. I'm probably not holding them at a very good angle for you, but there's uh, there's uh, vents there that I do believe we probably would do well to blacken so that they look uh, a little bit more like uh, like vents. If you remember, we did that on on another part uh, that you can't see right now. Well, yeah, you sort of can. It's, it's right there. Okay, you know what, folks? I've got a lot of editing to do. I honestly don't know at this moment how long the video is, but I do know that I had record pressed for a long time. So we're going to have to call it quits here for today. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.